Sophie Turner might be blissfully married to her husband Joe Jonas, but it appears the actress has gotten on the bad side of her in-laws. Why don't Joe's parents like Sophie? What are fans saying about the situation? Last month, the Jonas Brothers Family Roast started streaming on Netflix, and fans got to watch the famous brothers get roasted by their friends and, most memorably, their wives. It was in this Netflix special that Joe Jonas's wife, Sophie Turner, threw jabs at her husband and she had the audience reeling in laughter. The Game of Thrones actress poked fun at Joe and his brothers for wearing purity rings during their earliest days in Hollywood. Let's talk about the purity rings, Sophie said, before adding. For those of you who don't know, purity rings are worn to demonstrate that you're abstaining from sex before marriage, and the Jonas Brothers, they had them, all of them. The actress continued by expressly stating that the rings were not a good idea, and added that, as a gesture, they were laughably and toe-curlingly lame. But remember, this was about more than a gesture. This was about faith. This was about principle. This was about taking a stand and setting an example, she explained. Turner then hilariously made fun of her husband. Look, Joe Jonas wasn't just sticking his fingers in some dumb metal rings. He was sticking his fingers in co-stars, actresses, and even a supermodel or two. This line racked up laughter from the audience, including Joe's brother Nick and his wife Priyanka Chopra. But while this seemed like the perfect joke for the Netflix special, Joe's parents were reportedly not so pleased with Sophie's sense of humor. Speaking to OK Magazine, a source close to the Jonas Brothers revealed that Sophie's jokes didn't go down well with her in-laws, to put it mildly. Joe thinks Sophie is hilarious and he loves that she's not afraid to make dirty jokes, even at his expense, the insider said. His father, Paul, a former ordained minister, and his mom, Denise, are, however, not quite as receptive of Sophie and are mounting pressure on Joe to get his wife to tread carefully at the family's holiday gatherings. Joe is stuck in the middle because this is just Sophie being herself, but with her potty mouth, things are bound to get awkward around the dinner table," the insider concluded. But is this one time enough to cause a rift between the actress and her in-laws? Well, not really, except that this is apparently not Sophie's first time making jokes that her in-laws don't like. Even more, there is the long-standing issue of how Denise and Paul were not informed of Joe and Sophie's impromptu wedding back in 2019. During a trip to Vegas, Sophie and Joe tied the knot in a quickie wedding at the Little White Wedding Chapel, famous as the home of many impromptu weddings in the city. But while the ceremony was supposed to be low-key, famous DJ Diplo, who was a friend of the couple, live-streamed the event on Instagram. And alongside millions of other Instagram users, Joe's parents were able to watch their son get married. But mixed with the joy they felt was also a bit of anger towards the singer and his wife. Speaking on an episode of The Graham Norton Show, Joe admitted to the host that he was still trying to make the situation better. The internet told them, I'm still trying to make it better, he said. The quickie wedding came right after Joe performed with his brothers at the Billboard Music Awards, where, interestingly, Sophie served as a presenter. With Priyanka Chopra serving as Sophie's maid of honor and an Elvis impersonator presiding over the ceremony, Joe and his bride said their I do's in the presence of a few friends. During an interview with GQ, Joe admitted that amid the excitement of getting married, he somehow forgot to invite his parents. Kind of blew up in our faces because my parents called me the next morning and they were like, did you just get married? And I realized I told everybody, but I forgot to tell my parents. So kids out there, make sure you tell your parents when you're getting legally married. But even though Paul and Denise did not get an invitation, Sophie did not forget to call her mom, Sally, before the ceremony. Sophie did call me. She said, Mom, I'm getting married in Vegas. I'm absolutely delighted, and so is my husband Andrew, Sally told the Daily Mail. So putting into consideration that Paul and Denise might have felt sidelined on one of the most important days of their son's life, it is not completely unbelievable that they have some unresolved feelings towards Sophie. But while they have every right to be upset about the wedding drama, fans think they might be pushing too hard with the recent issue they've picked up with Sophie. Some users took to Turner's Instagram page to show support for the actress, with one person insisting Turner's comments made the Netflix special, quote, worth the watch, and even suggesting that she consider doing comedy movies soon. On Twitter, fans also rose to defend the actress, with many arguing that, if anything, Paul and Denise should be angry with their sons for coming up with the idea to have a Netflix special in the first place. I doubt the concept was hashtag Sophie Turner's idea, so speak to your sons if you have a problem," the tweet read. You'd think they should have been disowned by now anyway, one user wrote. By concept, I mean the family roast idea. Also, which wife exactly held back? Referring to the other two Jonas wives, Priyanka Chopra and Danielle Delisa, who also poked fun at their husbands and brother-in-laws. 
Priyanka passed comments at the Jonas Brothers, shading them with her claim of having more social media followers than the three of them combined. Priyanka also made fun of her and Nick's 10-year age gap, adding that he had to teach her how to use TikTok, and she teaches him many 90s pop culture references. Nick and I have a 10-year age gap. There are many 90s pop culture references he doesn't understand, and I have to explain it to him. He showed me how to use TikTok, for example. You know, and I showed him what a successful acting career looks like," Chopra said. Danielle, on the other hand, could not tell her jokes herself after losing her voice, but that did not make them any less funny. With host Kenan Thompson reading out her jokes from a paper, Danielle threw jabs at her husband and his mom. I've lost my voice. It's okay. At least I had a voice to lose. Unlike Kevin, who sings backup, she joked. She then went on to recount how she met Kevin and somehow included his mom in the mix. I met Kevin on vacation, and before that, the only thing I've done on vacation that ruined my life was getting vacation braids. I basically ignored him the whole time, which he loved because he said it reminded him of his mom," Danielle said. Both Priyanka and Danielle drew laughs from the audience, and while some of their comments caused an uproar among fans, their in-laws are apparently unfazed. But this is obviously not the case for Sophie, who, according to some fans, had the best jokes. We always have our girls back when people start talking shit and making crap up. She had the best roast, and that's the tea," one user wrote. A third fan alluded to the fact that Joe's parents have always had a problem with Sophie, even long before the Netflix special. The problem between them comes before the roast. Nick's parents for a long time can't stand S. Not just them, but like the rest of the Jonas family," the tweet read. Though this implies that Sophie has never gotten along with her in-laws, the actress's previous activities on social media in the past say otherwise. In celebration of Mother's Day last year, the Game of Thrones star took to Instagram sharing a picture of herself and Denise at what appeared to be a Jonas Brothers concert. Happy Mother's Day to my Millie, the actress wrote, calling Denise by her nickname. Also to celebrate Mother's Day back in 2019, Joe posted a photo of Sophie and his mother cuddled up with a caption reading, My love and the best mom ever. Happy Mother's Day. Going by all these, it is safe to say that Sophie and her in-laws repaired their relationship following the wedding drama. But now, it appears they are right back where they started. However, regardless of the alleged rift, Sophie and Joe remain unfazed as the couple has seemingly been soaking in the holiday spirit. In a recent post shared by his Instagram story, Joe and Sophie were captured enjoying a carol while on a sidewalk. The video only showed Joe and Sophie's feet as they posed on the sidewalk with the words club only written on the floor. Should Sophie tone down on her sense of humor? Or should Joe's parents simply accept her for what she truly is? Share your thoughts with us and let us know what you think in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.